Workers and politicians aren't the only ones who seem concerned about how Starbucks is treating its employees. The $113 billion coffee chain said that shareholders voted at its investor meeting last week for a third-party assessment on the company's labor practices. Just under 52% of votes cast were in favor. New boss, Laxman Narasimham, punted the hard questions about unionization to other leaders. Even though almost 300 stores have voted to join a union, Starbucks has resisted embracing them, instead saying that it wants to work with employees directly. Other companies have taken a different approach. Microsoft agreed to remain neutral with the Activision Blizzard union, and Apple said it was looking into its own collective bargaining practices. Had Starbucks proactively agreed to the proposal, it could have saved its worker-friendly image. Instead, the slow march to turn Starbucks into an anti-labor or punching bag continues. On Wednesday, former CEO Howard Schultz was grilled by senators, including Bernie Sanders. Companies can fudge their response to shareholder resolutions. ExxonMobil CEO Darren Woods faced an activist shareholder campaign years after investors demanded that the oil giant ramp up climate disclosures. Narasimham, by not engaging, could have a similarly restless shareholder base on his hands.